Hey guys, what's up? Neil Walter here. Today I just wanted to share some of my insights on what makes a good gig bag. There's a lot of choices out there and it's hard to find a balance between features and price. So I want to give you some of my insights on what I think makes the best gig bag. And I got a few examples here. Uh, basic lightweight bag. It's kind of like your, your uh, fender type. Basic gig bag. They usually give away with guitars. There's one that's even lighter than this that's not even worth looking at. Um, you might have seen those too. And then there's one that kind of looks like, kind of looks like a pro case, but it's not really. And then, and then you have your pro case design that uh, that has a hard shell on it and lots of little features. So, depending on your budget, um, I'll show you some of the some of the things to look for. Now, when you pick up a bag, you can look at the stitching and check the stitching for evenness and density. You don't want stitching that's too far apart and you don't want stitching that's going all over the place because that just shows that it was poorly done probably by some unskilled laborers. So that's one thing to look for. Another thing to look for is the quality of the zipper. You can usually tell if a zipper is hard to pull and it's a challenge, it's probably a low quality zipper and it will break and render your bag completely useless which is really frustrating. So keep an eye out for the zippers. Um, when you see a good quality zipper, it'll be pretty apparent. It'll be tough, built well, slides really easy. Zipper. You definitely want a good quality interior shell. You don't want one that's gonna, if you, if you pull on it like this, you don't want it to pull away. Because what happens is the strings, uh, the ends of the strings will get caught and pretty soon your bag rips open and you got a bunch of foam everywhere. and A good bag will have an extra um, protector right here to keep this from ripping. For example, in this one, the Rock Ready bag, you'll see you got a bridge protector and a string protector up here. So that'll keep your bag from getting torn to pieces. Especially if you have a vintage style strap, the little bridge screws that stick up and they're always grabbing stuff. Another thing to look out for is the parts that connect to the bag, like the straps. Is it made out of plastic or metal? These ones are made out of plastic and they tend to bend and get flexible. Um, better off with metal just because it's tougher and it'll last longer. You want to make sure that the bag is well balanced so when you're picking it up, and make sure you pick it up with a guitar in it. You want to make sure that when you're picking up the bag, it's well balanced with the guitar in it and it's not sagging each direction. And the same goes for the backpack straps too. On the back, put the backpack straps on with the guitar in it and make sure it's not riding too high or too low. Because you want to be comfortable, especially if you have a long walk to the gig and you're carrying a bunch of gear. You want it to be as smooth as possible. Of course you want tons of pockets for all your goodies. For example, you want a pocket for your sheet music, a place to put your smaller stuff like your tuner, cell phone, oops, wrong zipper, tuner, cell phone, keys, key holder is really handy, a pocket for your cell phone to protect it is nice. Um, this one has a pocket in the back too that you can use and you can stow the backpack straps away so they're not dangling around. And the Rock Ready bag comes with the really cool optional tote bag. So, of course, you need a place for your cables, a uh, place for your laptop. So it's nice if a bag for your laptop or tablet has a nice little padded cushion so that if you put your tablet in here with your cables, your cables aren't scratching your, the screen on your tablet or laptop. So that's nice. So you want to protect your guitar, but you also want to protect yourself. Another thing to look for in a bag is some sort of reflective surface. This one has it right here on the piping so that you can be seen at night when you're out in the street. The good thing about a gig bag is most airlines allow you to bring it on the plane, whereas a hard shell case, you might have to check it in with the luggage. The bad thing is it's gonna get smashed together with a bunch of other people's luggage on the plane in the carriage compartment. Um, so it's important that the shell is not flexible, that it is solid, like this one has a rigid shell on the inside so it won't bend, that will protect your guitar, especially on a plane. And when you're looking at foam, the density is important because some foam will look thick on a bag and it's like, oh yeah, that'll protect my guitar, that feels you know pretty good. 
but you know they can jam a lot of air into the foam so it's just fluffy and it feels like it's protect protected but what's more important is that you have a dense foam that's um, more protective of your guitar and less likely to tear so density you are my density if you've ever been outside of a gig and you set your bag down and you hear your guitar go thud on the pavement you know that's not a good thing so this has a little piece of rubber but there's no support in there so your guitar is going to pay the price so when you're looking for a bag make sure you get one that has a nice nice thick padding at the bottom to protect your guitar when you set this down you won't hear anything critical to your guitar safety is to protect the neck it's the most delicate part of the guitar it's basically like a stick compared to the body which is more tough so if you have a flexible bag your neck is more at risk and you don't want to put your neck on the line right so better off to have uh, neck protection so when you're looking at bags make sure the bag has something like this that secures the neck in place this one has velcro so it keeps your guitar from moving around and it keeps the neck protected. This one also is movable depending on your guitar. So if you got like a mini guitar, or extra long or extra short, that'll adjust it for you. Some bags only have one strap on the back. And this is, I've noticed when I, when I have one strap and I'm carrying a bunch of stuff, that the bag usually ends up swinging around and I have to change sides and then you have to readjust it. So better to have two backpack straps, which is fairly common these days. And that way you're also, both hands are free. So you got the gig bag on your back and you can pick up your amp or whatever. It's important for your guitar to be safe, but it's also important for you to be comfortable when carrying your bag. So make sure the handle has got some nice padding, can make a huge difference. And make sure the bag has padding in the right places so when you're traveling around, you are comfortable as well as your guitar. These days it's not too much to have a sturdy bag that's also stylish, so why not look good while you're at it too? Um, there's a lot of interpretations on gig bags and shoulder straps. A lot of them have an extra little bag or pouch, which is really handy. Like this one right here, it just attaches with four Velcro straps. So bam, like that, you have a little to-go bag. And what's cool about having a little extra bag like this is not only could you fit all your cables and stuff in it, this one actually has enough room to put a pedal board in. So, got everything in one bag, less stuff to carry, and then all this goes on your back with a backpack strap, and you're good to go. Last but not least, you want a company that stands behind their bag, so a good guarantee is really important. Uh, any quality company will stand behind their work, so make sure you get a guarantee for workmanship. And if you're like me, you're looking to find a good deal, but also a quality product, you shouldn't have to take out a loan to get a gig bag, and there are great bags out there that are reasonably priced. Hopefully these points will help you get the gig bag that's right for you. Thanks for watching. Let it show. If you ask me, I will say I'm fine.